Hello friends, this is Rahul. Let's simply learn robotic process automation with your iPad. In this video, we will compare the details between two data tables or Excel records using Link -U. Let's open your iPad studio. Name it to the process. Compare data tables, records. Now, this Excel file, uh, in this, there is a record present and we will compare the records. So, and basically we will just uh, get it only match record out of it. Yeah. Let me close this. Uh, now, I will use to read re range activity and before that let me copy this into the project folder refresh uh yeah this is the first is data table is sheet one and another is sheet two let me provide the variable control k t1 and control k dt2 okay now uh we will use one assign activity and we will create one variable um, dt compare and we will make this as an uh, data table variable and here we will provide our link query yeah So here, uh, what basically we have done here, uh, we have basically fetch the details from data one, dt one, dt two, and then we will compare here, dt one. Uh, basically, a zero is indexed, so dt one basically zero is indexed, or you can provide a column name as well, and then we will compare basically matches equals dt two zeros uh, to string and similarly we have put the condition on all the three columns basically so this is the first column this is the second column and this is the third column so we have match all three columns and based on that we will we'll get the result yeah now here you can able to see there is an error basically uh, we are getting it and uh, it says that enumerable is not a member of system dot data dot data table so how to resolve this uh, such errors so to resolve these errors let me just save this first close so basically we have to add the assembly references so we have to add assembly references that is system dot data dot data System dot data dot data state extensions. This is the assembly references that we have to add it. Now, how to add it? Let me copy this. Uh, go to the project folder um, where the main file is present. This is something under yeah. Open it in a notepad and here in assembly references basically 
in this section in assembly references section we have to add this so let me add the here add file save let me close open your ipad studio again go to the main workflow yeah now you are able to see the error has gone so if you have getting such errors so you have to add assembly references and you can remove the errors now we will use one uh, output data type activity output data table activity and here we will provide dt compare and we will create one variable data yeah. and uh, we will just use log message activity which is info and here we will put data yeah so uh, first we, be, we will fetch the details from the excel sheet and then we'll compare it here using the link query and then using output table output data table we have just convert into the string so let me save it and execute yeah so in output you can see the first third and fifth records matches hence it is re retrieve the data let's me just open the excel sheet the first third and fifth first third and fifth yes now it is match exactly now what we will do uh, let's me just change something here and suppose the data is not present it, 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 it will not match so how it will behave let's see so now uh, there is no record match between do these two data tables now okay let me save this and let's execute yeah now you can able to see uh, we are getting error the source contained no data rows okay now how to resolve this error or how to basically handle this issues so what we will do we will use one more assign activity and we will just control k create one we will create one variable count yes and uh, we will copy this our query here and uh, here first we will check the count basically so count and we will save this mm, yeah so now the error is because of we have to change the variable of in, uh, in 32 yeah now error is gone now we will use one if activity basically yes and we will check count as 
greater than zero then otherwise mm, data is not match and here we will put data match okay let me save this and run this yeah uh, here you can see the details is not it data is not matched so yes so uh, in this way basically we can handle the errors and we can basically create our workflow uh okay uh, execution trail and let's execute it again one more time yeah so this is the execution flow that has been gone in this particular branch because data is not present now again we will do some changes in the records that is something one three and five let me save this and let's execute yeah so here you can see the records are matched so in this way basically you can compare the details between two data tables or two excel sheets or excel tables using the link queue Yeah, that's it in this video. Please subscribe in case you have any question. Please comment. Thanks.